morning from Brno. Good morning. Here we are back with our new vlog, so I'm really excited about that. But now it is time to get in a car and uh, rush to the airport. Do you want to drive or do you want to spin to the airport? I think we should spin. All right, let's spin then. So here we are at the airport. Hopefully we're going to make it because our flight departs in like 30 minutes and we got a couple of issues with the uh, Dainese airbag because they don't want to allow it to the plane. So hopefully with the new letter that we just received from Dainese, we'll be able to get to the plane. But right now, let's have a look at what happened in the past few days. So let's have a look at the supermoto and other, other cool stuff that we did. This was one of our last sessions, last stints today on the supermoto. I'm pretty exhausted. I think my brake has some some uh, some air bubbles in it because it's not braking really well. But especially, let's have a look at the rear tire. I think it's completely fucked. And it is. Yeah. I think. Pretty bad. Yeah. Me and my friend, or maybe just my friend Honza, will make one more stint just to. Uh, finish of the day, oh, but thank you, Cairo. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's just the time to go and get some burger and uh, call it a day because it is getting really dangerous now. You know what? Let's get let's get back to the to to our car, put it on a on a stand, and uh, let's talk a little bit about the differences between this supermoto bike and between a motocross bike. So. Now we are back in the paddock and my bitch will put the tire warmers on the tires. <laughs> <laughs> I will kill it. No, today, now Honza is putting the tire warmers on the, on the tires, even though the tire is really destroyed as you could see over there. But, but he's getting it ready for... Well, I don't like to call it the last stint because every time I say last something bad happens. So penultimate stint to go out and uh, enjoy a little more. I think I will call it a day because for me there is already uh, not much I can do with that tire. Well, I might do a couple of minutes, we'll see. But anyway, let's have a look uh, at the bike. So what we've got here is, uh, is, my, is, my, is my Husky FS450, uh, which is a proper super motorbike, really cool. And you know, you may ask what are actually the differences between this bike and the motocross bike. It seems or it looks pretty similar and it's basically it's based on the same bike because what you do with the supermoto is that you make part of the track like three quarters or two thirds on a on a actual tarmac or an actual, actual asphalt or something on the road and then you make like one third or a quarter of the track um, off road with the jumps like motocross. So it's mixed between um, road racing and mixed between uh, between a motocross. So the main difference is okay. You can notice very easily that we are riding on a slick tire. So that's the first difference. Second difference, of course, the suspension. It's a little bit stiffer, but it's, it doesn't travel as far as you as you would need on a motocross bike. And you can you can even say brakes because uh, on a super motorbike you need a little bit more powerful brakes than uh, on a motocross because you need to brake really hard into some corners, into the hairpins, it basically has to uh, act like a, like a road bike or you're trying, you're basically trying to make it a road bike on the road and to make it a motocross bike uh, in the off-road. So it's not an easy task, but uh, it works and it's super fun, I gotta say. That was two days old me showing you what actually happened in the uh, last couple of days, but a couple of days we've been also traveling. It's been almost 39 hours that we are on the way from, from Prague. It was. Uh, it was an uh, interesting way because first they didn't want to check me in my leathers with the airbag so we had a little issue with that. Then uh, we had some issues in New York as well, we had to leave, it took us so long time. Here I didn't receive my bag so we had to wait a long time for it and we missed the flight to Termas or to Tucuman actually so we had to rebook. Now we are right here waiting for our last connecting flight. We do not have our rental car yet, so I hope I hope we'll get one when we get to Tucuman because otherwise it's pretty difficult to get to the track. But luckily we are in Argentina, so it's just last couple of hours ahead of us. And then 
a nice dinner with a really big steak. I'm looking forward for that. It's gonna be really nice. It's gonna be it's gonna be beautiful. Sorry guys, we had a little bit of a break from uh, from vlogging, and even my Instagram didn't look really perfect. But uh, we are back, so I hope you will enjoy. We'll be posting regularly now. Follow me on Instagram. Hopefully you will like our vlogs. And if you have any ideas, just uh, write them down in, in the comment section. We'll be more than happy to see what do you actually want to see in the next vlogs. So thank you very much and I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye.